Hi, Chris. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What Good. you got going on? Well, we have the first annual Home Basics Roundup. And what's really cool about it is the fact we came in this morning to Martin's and they actually put little uh, wish lists all over the store. And we heard the magic expression of, well, next year we can do this for two days. So in other words, Martin's has actually offered to do this uh, as an annual event, just like with Shaw's with the paper drive. We're really excited about it. We've got our little sales pitch down. I'll show you what it goes like. All right. How are you folks doing? We're helping people who are moving from the homeless shelter to places in the like housewarming items. Thank you. Hmm. Just like that. Yeah, we've gone through over 600 of these little darlings too, and Martin's has been kind enough to actually print more, and Parker Bailey's given us the truck, and uh, we actually have a uh, leather sofa that they donated from Martin's and what we're going to do is get that over to the shelter for the second floor. Oh, nice. We're on a project to uh, slowly, one piece at a time, as Dennis Marvel says, to uh, replace some of the sofas and the love seats and the chairs over there. Nice. So we're really excited about it. So despite the wind and the weather, you guys we are here. We out. Mother Nature missed us by one day. Yep. And the roads cleared off and we've had a whole bunch of new volunteers and some more folks coming in here. Great. How are you ladies doing? We're helping the folks that are moving out of the home shelter back to a place of their own. We're getting housewarming items. Thanks. Hey, how are you doing today? Helping folks from the shelter that are moving back out on their own. We're getting housewarming gifts. Right on. Cool. Thanks. So, what you got in the basket over here? Are these donated we're items? We've got a little bit of stuff now. The truck has a lot more stuff in it. Nice. We've got uh, all kinds of different things. How are you this afternoon? You can see we got a lot of things in the truck here, and uh, we're always looking for volunteers. One of the easiest ways to find out about volunteering is if you're on Facebook, if you get a Welcome to Housing Bangor, Maine, and it's really nice because all the different publications, all the different handouts we do, I upload there. So if you'd like more information, you can just download them and print them out. One of the things that we're really trying to do clubs and civic organizations, the houses of worship, they all have mission committees, and we've been contacted by some of them, we've been trying to contact others, and the whole idea is that instead of having one or two clubs or organizations trying to do a lot, we're having a whole bunch of them do just a little, and as you can see, it really adds up. We got a nice donation of a television set from a lady who works at, or lives at the Bangor House. Uh, she gave us several tubs of items uh, a couple of days ago. She said, I have a perfectly good television. I don't need it anymore. Would you like it? And I said, sure. She said, what's the easiest way to get it to you? And I said, well, we're going to be over at Martin's uh, the next day, so we're all set there. One of the things we're trying to find out, too, and I've uh, been talking to other real estate agents, and there might be some people that are in the uh, military that are in the area, we can always use volunteers to help us deliver, because right now we have a lot of beds up in our storage site up in Old Town. It's a... 2,267 square foot space, it's heated, and uh, we have beds up there, and the shelter from time to time has people that are moving out, and they need a decent bed. We've uh, gone so far as to purchase little $10 air mattresses, but those don't always last, so we're doing whatever we can, and things are, it's, it's growing constantly. We started out with very little. Uh, Parker Bailey has been letting us use trucks. We have two portable bots for drop-off points, and uh, it's expanding to the point now we're getting more volunteers and it's uh, taking on quite a life of its own. 